Hello and welcome back to Tulip. Between episodes, I did a lot of selling, so I have a lot more money now, and my inventory is also completely different. I also realized I made a bit of a miscalculation. We missed someone. Eggplant Boy was not our final underground resident. This guy is. So let's see who lives under here and who gets the honor of being last. I also accidentally read a letter that I don't think we've seen yet, so I'll throw that into the bonus episode at the end. And I realized I never got the love pen from Mizawada. I just walked right by her and back onto the train. So that's embarrassing. <laughs> we'll have to get her later today, too. Mr. Music Box's life. Age 40, hobby composing music. The saying of the day is, composed by me, arranged by me. Please enjoy to the last note. All right, so there's our hint for him. And that is, in fact, a hint. That's exactly what we have to do. All right, so the plan for today is to go get this guy, sleep, go catch Leo, so we can finish up with Mika. Then we'll go to Scarecrow Field, get the pen before I forget. And then we have some cards to get and pass around, and then we have to get Batayan's kiss at some point as well. I think there's probably only going to be two episodes left before the end game. There we go! We listened to the last note, and we got his kiss! Mr. Music Box is our final underground resident. We're almost done here! Before we go to bed, I'm going to show some cards around. Because there's some people around here who we need to talk to about other people. Hundred and twenty Z. Before the hospital closes, let's go talk to Dr. Dandy about some people around town. Let's see here. Here we go. Hey. Is Julie my patient? Of course she is. I believe she has neck dab disease, which is bad chicken disease. Seriously ill. No one is perfectly healthy. I'm the only one who's healthy because I'm a doctor. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that. All right, so he doesn't like Julie's chicken either. Is Goro my patient? Of course he is. I believe he has nerd disease, which is drunk disease. Seriously ill. That's about what I expected from Goro. That's the only one so far we've seen that is actually a disease. All right, who else we got in here? We've shown... Where is Mrs. Plum? Here we go. Getting a little, <laughs> a little mixed up with all these cards. Is Mrs. Plum my patient? Of course she is. I believe she has Dayrub Can's disease, which is snack snackberry disease. Oh, because she's always underneath her snacks. Oh, that's cute. I was kind of hoping he'd say something about how old she is, but that's all right. She doesn't seem to be that unhappy hanging out under there. Although I guess that's the point, that people are sick and they don't realize it. Is Linda out? Linda's probably out. Cheapot's probably out as well. I also got the boss card out, just because I wanted to see what Linda had to say about it. Oh, and I want to show her the other comics as well. It's expensive, and it's got all the good comics. You can kill 12 hours by reading it. Um, eyeball? Ew, an eyeball? Gross. Uh, what else did I want to show you? Weekly comic. It's the cheapest, and it's got a lot of stupid comics. You can kill three hours by reading it. Stupid or not, it does the trick. 
And here we go. A kid disappeared behind the snack shop. Scary, isn't it? My mom told me never to eat. Never to eat what? Localization error. I think that's probably supposed to be microgum. You became the president? The world is an odd place. Yes it is, Linda. Yes it is. The other night, I had a scary dream. My mom was put in a trial by chickens. She was sentenced to death. Everyone hates her grilled chicken. No one tries to save her. It was a bad dream. My dad? I hate him. My mom is always yelling at him. Weak. I hate my mom who's always angry. But I hate my dad for being so weak even more. Well, it doesn't sound like Linda has the best relationship with her parents, which makes sense considering that she ran away. At night, a guy with reed hair? I think that's supposed to be a guy with red hair. A guy with red hair comes out from the hospital. Is he a patient? Alright, and I'll see if I can catch Tulip. I'm not gonna go all the way across town. I'll worry about that tomorrow while we're already over there. Because Cheapot's right here. Goro has a film, I think. That's it? Julie. L-O-V-E. Lovely Julie. A big fan of her I used to be. However, her grilled chicken I don't like. Burnt. Well, we knew that he was the president of her fan club. And Miss Plum. Live too long, Miss Plum has. Everyone thinks she is a goblin. I think she's 90 years old. She's just an old lady. See, Mr. Cheapot is nice. He's nice to dogs. He's nice to kids. And he's nice to elderly people, too. Everybody seems to think that she's a goblin or that she's scary. Oh, I don't think we showed Linda her card, actually. But yeah, people are mean to Mrs. Plum. But Cheapot isn't. Oh, we did, we did see this. Never mind. Alright, let's go sleep and wake up nice and early so we can get Leo. Just to, Let me just make sure that letter isn't in there. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's okay, I'll put that into the bonus episode at the end. Speaking of, if anybody knows anything about this game that I haven't mentioned yet, or don't mention by the end of the episode, I know about this, we'll look at that later, then please let me know, because I love learning new things about this game, and I'd also like to be able to spread information, spread correct information. So yeah, please let me know if I haven't mentioned anything about the game that you guys know of. Alright. Let us sleep for the first time in a while. Everyone is talking about Chuck. I'm so worried about my son's reputation that I can't sleep. Let's see. Today, Chuck kissed? 20-year-old guy? Boxman? Mechayadzilla? Eggplant boy? Mr. Music Box? Scarecrow? Alien? Worker? Michelle? Diddy, lover's tree, lover's tree. My son has successfully kissed for the first time. That means Chuck has kissed 48 times in his whole life. He could do better. Keep trying and become a man with a strong heart. The next goal is two kisses. Lover's tree, thank you. I see all right, okay. Good night, Chuck. That's right, only two more kisses. That's Mika and Batayan. Alright, up bright and early. Let's go see Leo. Good morning, wake up. Unfortunately, after I'd already turned the camera off, I noticed something about Leo's shop that I'll point out when we get there. It's something I never noticed before. And I wish I could have gotten my reaction you know, recorded, but that's okay. Now, now at least I get to show you guys. Alright, Michelle, I think, is around here. Yeah, let's show Michelle some cards. 
starting with Mrs. Plum. Mrs. Plum? I don't like her. The goblin lady, right? She's like 300 years old. She's always been old ever since I met her. Mm. Take a leaf out of Cheap Pot's book and be nice to Mrs. Plum. She's sweet. Um, yes. Julie? I don't like her. Yes, her grilled chicken is good, but... She refuses to serve pickled eggplants. I don't like her. But she does like her chicken. Interesting. Goro? I don't like him. He should sell roasted eggplants instead. Michelle, you are obsessed. I was kind of hoping maybe she'd be less obsessed once she quit her cult. <laughs> Dr. Dandy? I don't like him. He says I'm sick every time I see him. No one gets better with his medicine. Eggplants work better for me. Well, I don't know if I want to trust Michelle with medicine necessarily. Alright, let's hurry over. We should be in plenty of time for Leo. I don't know exactly when he starts working, but there's like a good couple hours in the morning where we can go talk to him. Alright. Going over to see Leo for what might be the last time, for what I think is the last time. Oh, you know what? While I'm here, I also wanted to show funny cola to people, so let's buy some. <laughs> people have different things to say about that. Oh, my inventory is full. Oh, I can, I can toss the boss card. I just wanted to show that to Linda. Boss card? Boss card! Alright. Oh, and we're gonna have to toss something to buy train tickets. Oh, we're gonna go give Leo a bunch of stuff. If you can see here, there's a Union Jack on his sign. It says the uh, Kame, Kame no Yu Tea Room, which is the, it's like turtle or something. But you can see there's the, the flag of England. Or it's not England, sorry, it's the, the British flag with uh, Leo's face on it. Linda said that he studied abroad in England, and I guess it really affected his life. Alright, here we are. I probably could have given him this stuff last time we were here. Oh my, I really wanted Cluster Mamarillis for a long time. Thank you. Hold on real quick, I will be right back. I gotta take care of something. Sorry about that, had to take care of something real quick, but we're back. Alright, let's start giving Leo some more stuff. Oh my, I really wanted fresh mint for a long time. Thank you. Yeah, he says the same thing about all the plants. Oops. No, I do not want some tea. We're not ready yet. I really wanted la lavender. Yeah, we can't have tea until he has all the special ingredients. Oh, what about the eyeball? Someone's eyeball? Why are you carrying stuff like that? You are disgusting. Oh. Oh my, I really wanted wilting flower. Why did you want a wilting flower? What's so special about this thing that it changes when it wilts? That should be everything. Let me just uh, make sure that was everything. Yep, we gave him everything. Oh, let me show him the funny cola while we're here. You drink that juice? Oh, there it is again. There's the translation error. It's not good for you. Have some tea instead. Hi there, Chuck. Do you want some tea? Yes, we do. I know, I know. You want some tea. Here we go, having a tea, having some tea with a living person this time. I've got an idea. Let's blend some herbs you gave me. Fresh mint. Wilting flower. La Lavender. Cluster Mamarillis. Chuck is not phased by this at all. Just putting that out there. Lest you ever forget how weird this game is. Okay, make yourself at home. 
serving us first, like a good host. By the way, Chuck, you must be a student at the local junior high. I went to that school as well, year of XXXX. Ah, uh, I remember my young days. The good old days. What was it like? Everyone loved to go to school back then. Kids nowadays don't want to go to school, right? How were the teachers? Mr. Suzuki and Mr. Yamada. They must be doing well, right? Were you smart? Of course I was smart. I had all A's except for PE. But she was better than me. If you say the tea is getting cold, it skips to the end and you don't have to listen to the dialogue, but that's no fun. Girlfriend? Yes. She was smart and pretty. On our graduation day, she got in a car accident. Music fades away. Oh, sorry. Let's not talk about this. Too sad. Another little flash of some darker stuff. Hmm. Good. It reminds me of my young days. Huh? I feel like someone is watching my happy tea time. Well, maybe not. Ah, uh, it was good. Very good. If you have tea with Leo, after you've given him the proper herbs, and you have Mika's eyeball, you will get that dialogue. Someone was watching his happy tea time. He just didn't know it. I wish we could tell him about what happened with Mika, but I guess he wouldn't believe us. When is the next train? We have to go to Scarecrow Field and- oh! Oh, was that a train leaving or a train coming? I think that might have been a train leaving. Let's go see. I'm gonna get tickets to both the Temple and Scarecrow Field because we do need to go to both. Oh, <laughs> whoops. That's alright, they won't sell us more than one. Okay, here we go. Oh, he said more than two, so I guess he's counting the round trip ticket. The train he no, the train just left. Alright, when's the next one? I don't wanna go too far. The next train to Scarecrow Field is at eleven thirty. Oh, we just missed the one to the temple. Alright, eleven thirty. We could probably show Mrs. Plum funny cola while we're here. I don't want to go to the other side of town because I don't want to like lose track of the train. So we'll show them stuff later. Julie and Goro won't be awake in time, but that's alright. We'll get them later. I have a snack. <laughs> Buried in snacks. Just like the doctor said. Uh, let's see. That's popular in big cities. Not very popular in Long Life Town. Hee hee hee! You know what? We actually have to show her some cards while we're here. Let's see. Julie? She's 41 years old. Hee hee hee! Her grilled chicken is delicious! Easy on my dentures. Hee hee hee! Alright, we found someone else who likes her grilled chicken. Goro? He's 50 years old. He he he. He used, uh, he used, he used to be a famous movie director in a big city. Now he sells roasted sweet potatoes. He he he. I guess Miss Plum would, Mrs. Plum would like that, cause he technically sells snacks too. She's 14 years old. He he he. So you can see Mrs. Plum tells us about people's age, and people tell us about hers. Dr. Dandy? He's 37 years old. <laughs> Is that it? That might have been the last one. Yeah. Alright, so we killed a little bit of time. Let's go get a train. Go to Scarecrow Field. Where's the music? Are we glitched? Oh, I wonder if the music never came back after it faded out from Leo. I never noticed that. Huh. I guess it's a glitch. Alright. Take a- oh, there's the music. Weird. 
Hello? Oh wow, he came early. What's with that? All right. Let's take a brief trip to Scarecrow Field and get the pen. If there's enough time before the next train, we'll go and read Scarecrow's diary, and then we'll go to the temple. While we're at the temple, I'm going to see if I can get hit by the Reaper a couple of times as well. Get some of that out of the way while we're over there. Alright, I'm going to check the train schedule, see how much time we have. When's the next train? 12.30. Okay, so that's just enough time to really quickly come over here and leave. I'll show Scarecrow's diary later, in the bonus video. Honestly, do you believe that UFOs exist? Sure I do. Oh my. You communicated with aliens? Really? That monkey was an alien from the planet Iskanzele. I didn't know that. Now you believe that UFOs exist? As I promised, I'll give you the love fountain pen. Here! Whew, should have done that a while ago. Please come visit me again. Let's talk about the infinite universe. What do you say now? Please get out of the same thing. That's too bad. I wanted to talk about the infinite universe. Ooh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! All right, now we're done with Scarecrow Field. There's no music playing here either. I, don't, I think maybe that's because we gave him the ticket. Okay, I wonder when the next train to the temple is. I want to say it's at 1.30. Depending on what time it is, we might be able to show Goro and Julie some stuff. We'll see the time. here. Does anybody know what those little cube things on top of the trains are? It's always bothered me. Oh, it's one o'clock now. Um, are you going to the temple? Are you just turning right around and going to the temple? Oh, look at that. That's convenient. Alright. They must be on the same line. Alright. When we get to the temple, I think I'm actually going to stop, because we've still got quite a bit to go, and I really want things to be sort of, like, cleanly broken up between things. So next episode, we're just going to finish everything that we haven't done. We'll kiss Mika, we'll kiss Batayan, we'll finish with cards, and then the episode after that, I would like to be the finale. So, I think I will just meet you down by the graveyard. I'll pass some time, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching Tulip, and hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye!